So the original plan for this video was to unbox the Hasselblad X-Pan, go out and shoot with the X-Pan, and also show you some sample photos from the camera, the 45mm lens and the 90mm lens. But that never happened because New Zealand went into a level 4 lockdown, late August I think it was, it's been over a couple of months now, and now we're in a level 3 lockdown, with benefits apparently they call it. So I still can't get out and shoot this camera the way I want to. So the plan now is to do an unboxing, show you what's come in the boxes and what I've got with the camera and the lens and other accessories, and talk about why I bought a Hasselblad X-Pan. Now, if you want to know what the photos look like from a Hasselblad X-Pan, check out my good friend Robin's YouTube channel. Probably the best street photographer I know out there. Don't tell him that though, because he's had to get too big. But he is an amazing street photographer. He uses like a M6, the same as me, but he's got the classic, I've got the TTR model. And he also uses the Hasselblad X-Pan a lot. So I put a link to his channel down below. And he also has done a couple of books. Well, these are called zines, I think they call these, but they're little mini books, basically. And they are full of beautiful photos taken with the X-Pan. Um, he has the original X-Pan, the same as what I've got. So if you check out his channel, there's a link to his store, and he actually sells his books. I think the first version is sold out now, but he does have a number two. Now, my last video that I uploaded was talking about buying secondhand cameras and lenses from map cameras in Japan. Now, I didn't actually buy this system from map cameras. I bought it from a camera store in Australia. They had all of this in their store, and I purchased all of it. I actually purchased it over a couple of days, actually. I bought the camera and the lens, then the 90mm popped up, and then this popped up as well, which is the Hasselblad X-Pan and 500 series, which is their medium format camera bag, basically. It's a leather bag, which was produced for those cameras. About quote the front, it's got a leather neck strap, and inside, you can see it has pockets and compartments, like a normal camera bag. It says Hasselblad on the front. It's such a beautiful bag, I don't actually think it's been used. There's no marks on it anywhere. Now, I've been looking for a cream to use on this leather to keep it in good condition, to stop it drying out and cracking. If you guys know of a cream you can recommend that I can use on this bag without damaging it and will actually keep the leather in good condition, please let me know down in the comments section. Now all of this, like I said earlier, was in the store for sale and I believe it came from one owner. So they had the bag, the 90mm lens and the Hasselblad X-Pan kit with a 45mm lens. So that's the bag, which is quite unique actually. I haven't seen many of these bags and I definitely haven't seen one in this condition. This looks like new. It's such a beautiful bag. Now my kit comes with the 90mm, the 45mm, and obviously the camera. Now, this whole system is like new, to be truthful. I've not seen an X-Pan in this condition. Now, some of you that subscribe to my channel would say, hang on a minute, you've had a couple of X-Pans before. And yes, I have, and I've sold them. Um, my last X-Pan went to a very good friend of mine, Francis, who now studies in Australia. I'll put a link to his social media links down below. And I think he has a YouTube channel as well. Very, very talented young photographer, and he actually purchased my older X-Pan, the one I had last, anyway, he bought that one. And he loves the camera, he uses it a lot. Now after I sold that camera, I regretted selling it, but then I made a decision that I wanted to buy a Hasselblad X-Pan in the best condition I could find. So I'm gonna keep it for as long as I can, which hopefully will be a long time, and let the camera wear with me, because the Hasselblad X-Pan one has a bit of a problem with its paint, which we'll talk about later. Now this is the 90mm lens. I'll put that there. Both of the lenses that this camera comes with are F4. You will not get any faster than that. Now this is the 90mm F4 and it comes with a certificate and it also comes with, I believe it's a manual on how to use the lens, which I won't ever use. But they're in brand new condition again, like I said. This is like brand new, it's come out of the factory. I am so happy with this purchase, and I didn't actually pay that crazy price for it. I won't tell you how much I paid for it, because I'll probably get some insult down in the comments. But I got it for a very reasonable price for its condition, because it is an amazing condition. And that's another point about this video, is check out your local camera stores. Map Cameras is amazing, a very, very good place to buy modern gear. They don't actually have much old gear on there anymore. But if you're looking for old film cameras, definitely check out your local camera stores because they help people sell their cameras to get the maximum money they can for it. And like I said, I found this in a camera store in Melbourne, I believe it was, in Australia. So this is the case that the lens comes in. Now it's a storage case, as you can see. Now if you turn it at the bottom, it comes out of the case like that. 
and then you put that back on and there's your storage case out of the way. And the actual rear lens cap is the bottom of the storage case, which is quite nice. Now this is the 90mm f4 lens. Now as you can see, this lens is like brand new condition. There's not a mark on it. And the aperture is nice and tight, has a nice click to it too. Yet the focus is very smooth. It's a very short focus roll on this lens, but it is very smooth. I've never actually shot with the 90mm. Um, both of my previous X-Pans had 45mm lenses only. So I'm looking forward to actually shooting with this 90mm lens. We'll put this out of the way. we put it over there. And then we get to the X-Pan box, which has obviously the X-Pan in it. And that's what comes inside the box. Now it has a spirit level. I presume it came with this new because I've seen photos of this system with the spirit level. So there is a little spirit level. Let's open the bag up. I guess that would come in quite handy if you're doing architectural work or landscapes with this camera. But yeah, a little spirit level. Probably that was sold separate by Hasselblad for an absolute fortune. Because we all know Hasselblad likes to charge for their accessories. And there is a base plate. Now, this base plate, I am unsure what... Oh, and there's a screw too. I am unsure what this base plate will fit on. I'm not sure if it's Arkin Swiss. It looks like it's Arkin Swiss, but I don't want to force this into one of my Arkin Swiss tripod heads. So if you guys know what the actual tripod head I need for this plate, let me know down in the comment section, please. Because I'd hate to put this on the X-Pan and then try and force it into one of my Arkin Swiss tripod heads. And obviously, there's an Allen key in there. Put it back in the back. There you go, right. And now we get to the good stuff. We'll take that out. We'll take that out. And there's a bit of cardboard. And then we take that out. Okay. Now, why am I doing this video? Because several of you have asked me to do an unboxing of this camera. And I think some people would like to see what actually came in the box with a brand new X-Pan. Now, this is almost new because it's got 220 shots on it. Because if you hold down two buttons, or is it one button and another button, you hold down a couple of buttons on the actual camera, it will tell you how many shutters it's done. It tells you a number and you multiply it by 10. On this camera, it is only 22. So we'll move that out of the way, we'll move the lens out of the way. Now this in this box, we have something that's worth about $800 on eBay, believe it or not. That is the lens hood, a brand new conditioned lens hood. So as you can see, so that is actually worth 800 Kiwi dollars, which is about 500 and something US dollars for a lens hood like that. Now you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it on that camera, it says they're made in Japan, because obviously this is not made in Europe by Hasselblad, it is a Fujifilm camera because they call it the TX1, I think it was, and the TX2. So in Japan, it was a Fuji camera. Around the rest of the world, it was a Hasselblad. Now the Fuji version is titanium finished, so there's no paint on it. So it looks better over time than the Hasselblad, because the Hasselblad has a problem with paint. That is the lens hood. So I'll put that there, and we'll take the lens out. Now this is the 45 mil, which is basically the kit lens that came with these cameras. Move it out. Again, it's got the same storage container. And you also get in the box a Hasselblad certificate. And you get the instruction manual for the lens, the 45 and the 90. Now there is a 30 mil lens. Is it 30 mil? I think it's 30 mil, which is extremely rare and extremely expensive. And I don't think I'll ever shoot with that. But I will leave a link to Robin's video down below because he did a video on it. He borrowed it from a friend. He did a video with Hasselblad X-Pan and the 30mm lens. So there'll be a link to that video down in the description. And again, you've got the same storage container. You turn it like that. And there you go. It's actually quite a compact lens. Now, I would put these lenses on par with Leica lenses. There is a very unique character to these lenses and they are incredibly sharp the whole way through the aperture. Even at F4, they are very, very sharp. And there you go. So this is a 45mm F4. And on the back, the rear cap, you'll see it there. So again, this whole system is like brand new. It's in beautiful condition. I'll put that back on. So the lens hood goes on like that. And it's actually a very nice lens hood, actually. 
Now you can actually do a 3D printed version of this. I've seen them on the 3D printed websites. A bit too worried about doing it myself, but I do have a new lens hood on this lens. I'm actually gonna look for a second hand lens hood um, for this camera system because I know these get damaged quite easily. So I wanna get one in poor condition basically, but works so I can keep this one because I'm a bit worried about breaking this because they are quite fragile, these lens hoods. Let's put that out of the way. Right, let's get to the camera. Okay, there is a customer service directory. I think this might be a little bit out of its warranty. But anyway, I've got that. And, oh, we've got this envelope. Now, before I get to the camera, I wanna ask you guys something, if you can help me and tell me what it is. Obviously, there's a couple of warranty cards for the house of lead and the lenses. These stickers, so obviously the X-Pan can shoot 35 mil negative and a panoramic 35 mil negative, which is two negatives together, basically. And it gives you the two measurements on these stickers. Now I'm guessing these stickers are for the lab. So when they develop and scan the film, they know exactly what they're doing. That's my guess. If I'm wrong, or if you know exactly what these are for, please let me know down in the comment section. I don't think I'll ever use them, but they're in beautiful condition. So they were in the envelope. So now we get to the x pound which is probably one of the hardest cameras to find these days in this condition. Well, I'll just show you the condition of this camera. And then if I open it up, there you go. I don't think this camera shot many rolls. I think the shutter may have been fired quite a few times, but I don't think there's been many rolls in the camera because the back plate has no marks on it at all. And people do like to fire the shutter on this camera because it sounds like... It's got quite a unique sound. And if you open the camera up and you put a roll of film in it, there's no film in it at the moment, it will automatically unwind the film. And as it shoots, it winds the film back into the canister which is pretty amazing. That is a Hasselblad X-Pan version one. There is a version two and the titanium and the paint get on better. They have a better relationship. On this camera, they have a really bad relationship. On the back there, you will see there's a dot. Now, when I got the camera, I rubbed my thumb across this mark on the back and it was a bubble and it just took some of the paint off. It just peeled off my thumb basically. So I got a friend to use some modeling paint and he touched it up the best he could and it got quite close to the color. But I know the paint's gonna peel off this, and that's part of the draw of this camera for me, is they age incredibly well. I love rangefinders. Where's my M6? That's my M6, there. And you can see the difference. But I love rangefinders. I love shooting with rangefinders. I love the whole experience of rangefinders. And I don't wanna go down the road of a medium format rangefinder. I think they're ridiculous. They're like a house brick in front of your face. This isn't too bad, actually. It's not a bad camera. Um, this will shoot 35 mil and panoramic because it has this neat trick inside. If you look there, that's actually in panoramic mode. And if I push that button and turn that switch, you'll see now it's in 35 mil mode. So you can shoot 35 mil standard frames or you can shoot X-Pan mode, which is two 35 mil negatives together basically. The viewfinder on this camera is amazing. I would put it on the same level as a Leica viewfinder. I would say it's actually better than my M6, and it's almost as good as my Leica MP. It's an amazing viewfinder. It's very, very bright, and it's Japanese quality. Now, the downside to these cameras is a lot of electronics on this, as you can hear. Everything's electronic. So if something goes wrong, the camera's dead. Unlike a Leica, I can still use it mechanically, so it's fine. So you have your exposure compensation dial on top. You have single and continuous. And then you have timer. You have aperture priority, which works incredibly well on this camera and has a really good light meter. The light meter is probably the best I've used in any film camera. It is really nice. And then you have an ISO dial on the front. Now I did see somebody's video where they said the ISO dial spins around and the Mark II doesn't. Well, that's wrong because you have to push the button in on this to turn it. Now this is DX coded as well. And the DX coding means that a lot of the modern films you buy have a code on them, you put them into this camera and we'll know exactly what the ISO is. But if you want to change your ISO because you want to overexpose or underexpose the film, you can do it manually via that dial on the front. That is an absolute beautiful camera. And I think every film photographer has to shoot with an X-Pan once in their life. 
So there's the lens on the front. Now this is a 45 mil f4 lens with the lens hood. It has the aperture ring at the front, very much like a Leica lens, and it's manual focus. There is no autofocus with this camera. It's all manual focus, but the focus is beautifully smooth. Now the focus feels a little bit longer than on the 90. I think this is obviously the most popular lens because it's like the kit lens that comes with the camera, and I think it suits the camera better to be truthful. This was just the unboxing of the camera. I will be doing a review on this camera and you will be seeing this camera pop up every now and then on my channel as I use it, as I get back to going out and shooting photos. But if you do want to see some photo samples, don't forget to check out my good friend Robin's YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description. So there you go. There's an almost new Hasselblad X-Pan. Probably one of the most unique cameras you'll find and one of the most unique cameras you'll ever shoot with. If you do get a chance, do shoot with a Hasselblad X-Pan. They're amazing cameras, but they are very expensive but you can find bargains. This one was half the price that you'll pay for this. Actually less than half the price that you'll pay for this on eBay in worse condition than this. So look around, you'll always find a bargain. So before I go, I'm gonna let you guys decide on the first roll of film I put through this Hasselblad X-Pan. It can be black and white color, doesn't matter, but obviously it has to be 35 mil film. Leave me a comment down below on the film you think I should put for this camera for the first time and why. And the one that gets the most votes wins. It's as easy as that. And the first video I will shoot with the Hasselblad X-Pan will be with that film. And I'll let you know what I think about the film as well. It's gonna be quite interesting what you guys pick. So that's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching.